Are you having employment issues or perhaps can't find a job no matter how hard you try? Are you experiencing financial issues despite being a good light worker? Are you experiencing health issues that have either been perpetual or just seemingly appeared out of nowhere? Have you lost a loved one recently or are you still having a difficult time getting over the loss of a loved one? Are you homeless or on the verge of homelessness? You, my friend, are not alone. In this video, we're going to talk about why so many people are feeling like, why is everything coming down at me all at once? And what we can do about it right now. It certainly doesn't seem to help when you see others around you doing well and are unaffected by everything you're experiencing. It's even worse when no one else seems to care. You feel alone and through introspect, question yourself by asking, why is everything coming down at me all at once? Maxwell Daiwu is quoted as saying, even now, as broken as you may feel, you are still so strong. There's something to be said about how you hold yourself together and keep moving, even though you feel like shattering. Don't stop. This is your healing. It doesn't have to be pretty or graceful. You just have to keep going. The dark forces are desperate right now and are throwing everything they can at us to bring down our vibratory levels because they know that our collective level of vibration is the only thing keeping us locked in to this third dimensional matrix. Within this matrix, fear feeds more fear while love disintegrates the matrix. Fear takes us away from our true divine purpose for being here while displacing a positive emotion, love, with a negative one, fear. Many of us are being challenged right now through health issues, financial issues, etc., and are finding it hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel when there are so many pressing issues going on in our immediate lives. On Twitter, Starseed Angel Healings wrote, We have been taught to receive higher spiritual communications beyond synchronicities now. These are the vibrations we are getting via ascension sickness, ear ringing, stomach upsets, excessive tiredness. The spirit world is activating your spirit within the human body. Some of the easiest articles for me to write are the ones that you're constantly experiencing. Most people know me as being the eternal optimist, and I am. But I'm also experiencing much of what I already described in this post. Yes, I have health issues that I'm dealing with. Due to shadow banning, I've seen my income dwindle to slightly above poverty level and maybe living out of my car in the next several months and updating in 5D from a local Wi-Fi hotspot. But this is not what I project out to the world. I refuse to allow the matrix to control my outcome and continue to live in a vibration of truth, love, and light. I've seen a lot of posts on Facebook with many other light workers going through the same or similar issues. I truly feel your pain. I just want to take a brief moment to mention my other website, N5D Quantum Tie-Dye. All of the shirts that I wear on these videos are handmade by me and sent to you loaded with energy. I literally put crystals in my chakra dyes along with sprinkling in 99.9% .9 quartz crystal sand into all of the dyes. I also sprinkle the shirts with quartz crystal sand before I mail them out to you. Some people are collecting the sand and putting the sand with their crystals or storing the sand in like a vial. <laughs> The shirt I'm wearing is called Quantum Water, 
And you can find this and many more at in5d.net. And there's a link below the video for that. Also, I'd like to thank everyone who's part of our N5D Patreon family. You can see their names on the scroll below. We have six different tiers with awesome benefits. Get your name added below at patreon.com slash N5D. So why is everything coming down on me all at once? And what can I do about it right now? To many of us, we are so close to the finish line. Don't give up. The world as we knew it is changing every day for the better. Focus on the positive things in life. When you feel hurt by pain, loss, or financial struggles, look around you and find that which is good in life. Make a list of the things that you love and are grateful for. Place pictures of these things or people around your home to reinforce that love and gratitude. Know that you are not alone. You are a good person and are very loved. You have a lot of protection around you. Ask your spirit guides and guardian angels for help and direction. They're waiting and listening to you every millisecond. Also know that everything has to happen exactly the way it's happening in order for the caterpillar to emerge as a butterfly. For some strange odd reasons, you and myself are experiencing everything right now in order to make us stronger in the future. It may also lead us to fulfilling our life purposes. Even though you might think you found it right now, there might be more. So pay attention to all the signs. And that leads us to our next point, look for the signs. Every day we are given signs and clues as to what our focus and direction should be. Nothing comes into your life by accident or coincidence. Through soul searching and introspect, you'll find the answers to every question you have and will come up with ways to implement these changes. Leave yourself positive affirmations. These are simple reminders that can be placed on sticky notes or a small piece of paper throughout your home, such as by your bed and on the bathroom mirror. One of my favorites is, I am love, I am light, I am pure source energy. Another thing you can do is ground. This may be the best way to alleviate stress while connecting to Mother Earth and your higher self. You can still color with a broken crayon. It's just a matter of perspective. You've made it this far and have a ton of amazing life experiences to show as your badge of honor in this incarnation. You've learned and grew more in this lifetime than in any other incarnation. Your love, energy, and presence is needed now more than ever despite whatever issues you may be experiencing right now. We are all part of the greatest shift ever, and it's happening right now. Hang in there. We'll all get through this, and someday we'll look back and laugh at how serious we took ourselves in this incarnation. As real as it seems, it's not, and the best has yet to come. I'll see you at the finish line. Until the next time, my name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com and N5D.net. Sending you infinite love and light from my heart to yours. Namaste, everyone.